Stand by. Uh, Donald Trump is actually joining us on the phone right now. Uh, Donald, thanks very much. If Stand and the Poor's did one thing that was good, Wolf, it was that they should have been able to unite the Republicans and the Democrats and the president on maybe getting a deal done because it's an embarrassment to the country. We do need somebody that's going to take our country back because we have lost, we have lost or at, at best are losing our great country. And I just want to point out, think about this for a second, it's the top of the hour. I want to alert our viewers here in the United States and around the world that we're awaiting a statement from the President of the United States. He's going to be going into the diplomatic uh, dining room there over at the State uh, at the White House, as you can see. What a, what a terrible time this is for our country. Our economy is absolutely doing horribly. Uh, the helicopter was just a disaster yesterday. What a tragedy that was. And, you know, just what a, what a terrible time it is for this country. This is things that you wouldn't have thought could have happened. I mean, what's going on with this country, and it's just bad news after bad news. The economy, the helicopter, the, you could just go story after story. Everything bad, nothing good. It's a terrible time. There's a hedge fund manager, I don't know if you know him, in New York named John Paulson. Uh, who runs a hedge fund, he made last year $4.9 billion. That's probably more than you made, Donald. $4.9 billion. Most of that income was taxed at 15% rather than the maximum 35%. Is that fair? Well, it's something that I'm going to be discussing in the future if I decide to do something, okay? Because, you know, I don't want to get too much into it. I can tell you this. I am very strongly for not raising taxes because I do believe in the incentive theory. I'm a big incentive person. And I believe in not raising taxes, that smaller taxes make people work harder, et cetera, et cetera. But it is something I'll be discussing in the future because I have very strong views on it. We're waiting for the president of the United States. He's going to be speaking in about 20 minutes. Can you stick around or you got to go? Well, why don't you have your folks call back in a few minutes and I'll be here. I'm in my office working like I'm supposed to be, okay? Over I'll at Trump that, Towers. Okay. Uh, uh, do you want to do that? Uh, uh, or you can just wait two minutes and okay, we'll, we'll pick wait. it up the I'll conversation. Wait. Okay, uh, wait a second. We'll pick up me, the conversation. Well, I watched a couple of the uh, Standard & Poor's top people on television over the last couple of days, and they are loving it. They're having such a good time. And I'm sure Moody's will say, oh, gee, you know, they're having a good time. Let's do the same thing. I mean, we just don't have a well-run country. It's as simple as that. We're rebuilding China. We have to rebuild our country. The hell with China. China right. is not our friend. They're our enemy. They're an enemy. They're not our friend. They laugh at us. Right, Donald, and I know... All right, we'll leave it there. Uh, Donald Trump, it was very nice of you to join us uh, as we set the stage for the President of the United States. Uh, always good.